Hello everyone, this is Kikoto Mani from Team Get Rick Robotics, as well as a member of Team WPI. This is my event report video going over the November 2025 WPI Plastic Anweight event. I competed at this event with my brand new plastic anweight robot, Touch Grass. Touch Grass is a control bot designed to grab and lift the opponent. However, what makes it unique is the fact that it can both grab and lift with only one motion from the weapon. The weapon arm is attached to a large servo, which can force the arm downwards, which in turn lifts the front of the robot off the ground. This is what allows it to grab another bot and lift it off the ground at the same time. I've always wanted to make a design like this, and so I was very excited to see how it would do at its first ever competition. The format for this event would involve every bot getting two qualifying matches, where the bots that performed the best would be put into a single elimination bracket, and from there, they would fight it out until only one bot remains as the winner. Also, fights would last 3 minutes and every bot would be entitled to one free unstick per match. The first qualifying fight for Touch Grass would be against a drum spinner named Dirtbag. How will Touch Grass do in its first ever fight? Let's find out now! 4, 3, 2, 1, fight robots, fight! Now that was an amazing first fight for Touch Grass. Dirtbag started the fight with drive issues, but I was still really scared of that drum spinner. However, I was happy to see that the front forks were able to handle the hits well, which allowed me to get underneath Dirtbag and start controlling him. I was able to get several good grabs on Dirtbag, and eventually, Dirtbag basically self-destructed, and both of its wheels blew right off the robot. Amazingly, Dirtbag technically was still able to move by using the drum spinner, and so the fight was allowed to continue. I make sure to continue my assault on Dirtbag, and while my front forks have taken some damage, it doesn't stop me from dominating Dirtbag until the bot finally stops moving. Dirtbag is counted out, meaning Touchgrass wins its first ever fight by KO. My second qualifying fight would be against a horizontal undercutter robot named Bernard. I didn't have time to make a wedge configuration for Touchgrass, and so I would just have to run the forks and hope for the best. Now let's get into the fight. Bernard is ready. Bernard is ready. Alright, this fight begins in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fight robots, fight! Oh my god! 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 O
getting flashbacks. Nice grab, Kakoda. Oh no, don't get high centered. Oh. On stick, on stick. You're right, you're just gonna fight in three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. One minute remaining. That's it again. One. Well, that fight sure was interesting. In the beginning of the fight, it was difficult for me to get a good grab on Bernard, but eventually I was able to get Bernard cornered, which led to the entire weapon disc coming off. With Bernard no longer having a weapon, it is now very easy for Touchgrass to grab Bernard and showcase a ton of control. In fact, at one point I get a little bit overconfident and I thought it'd be funny to grab Bernard's detached weapon disc. But eventually, Karma strikes and one of my wheels just falls off. This is because the 3D printed wheel hub I designed was just press fit onto the motor shaft. I thought this was fine, but clearly I was wrong, which is why after this fight I would attach the wheel hub better using super glue. As for this fight, obviously with only one wheel it's much harder for me to properly attack Bernard, who takes the opportunity to showcase some control against me. Regardless, I still do the best I can to fight back until time runs out. Luckily for me, it would seem that the impact Touchgrass had in the first half of the fight was enough for me to still win the judge decision. At this point, I am now undefeated at 2-0 in qualifiers. Because of this, I easily qualify for the single elimination bracket. My first bracket fight would be against a powerful drum spinner named Brian Core. Can Touchgrass continue its winning streak? Let's find out now. Judges, are you ready? All right, this fight begins in five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Seven, 
eight, nine, ten. I am tempting to release. He's pushing with you. That's good. Oh, I'll do that. Now that was an amazing match. This was definitely the most difficult fight of the event for me in terms of driving, as I had to work so hard to make sure Brian Core never got to my sides, as I knew he'd only need one good hit on one of my wheels and it would be all over. That's why I'm proud to say that Touchgrass was able to keep the front forks pointed towards Brian Core at all times. And there were so many moments where I was able to get Brian Core pinned against the walls and slow him down. It was also clear that Brian Core was having some issues with his drum hitting the floor. Now that being said, Brian Core did do a decent amount of damage, especially to my weapon arm, but that doesn't slow me down one bit as Touchgrass continues to overwhelm Brian Core. In the end, the fight goes to the judges, and it was likely the hardest fight they had to judge all day. Brian Core definitely won on damage, but Touchgrass dominated the control category. This meant it all came down to aggression, and it would seem that Brian Core just barely got the edge which led to it being declared the winner. With this loss, Touchgrass is out of the competition, but I'm happy at least put up such a good fight. Fortunately, it wasn't that difficult to get Touchgrass repaired in time to do an exhibition fight just for fun. Specifically, I would be fighting yet another drum spinner named Evo Executioner. Now let's get into that fight right now. Um, Touchgrass, are you ready? I'm ready. Evo, are you ready? ready? Yeah. yeah. This fight begins in five, I think you're standing four, in three, two, one. Fight robots, fight. Yeah.
I see some bolts. Oh, that's scary, that's scary, that's scary. Did it go back? <laughs> the, the bolt went back into the drum. 90 seconds. That's a pin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's a noise. What? So, if this is the inner wall that separates all your electronics. I do see the battery right there. It's very close to the the weapon. Oh, they lost the inner wall again. We're stopping this fight. Yeah, we're stop. We're stopping this fight. Okay. That's a good fight. I gotta say, this was not an easy fight at all. Early into the match, Evo Executioner was able to get a good hit that flipped Touchgrass over for the first time all event, which led to me using my unstick. It's also worth noting that Evo Executioner was very difficult to pin, especially with my front fork still damaged from all the previous matches. Fortunately, Touchgrass was still able to hold its own and I'm able to get a few good grabs in. As for how I won, eventually Evo Executioner lost the plate that separates the electronics from the drum assembly, which meant that its spinning weapon was dangerously close to hitting its own lipo battery. Because the event organizers didn't want to risk a lipo fire, they decided to end the fight immediately and as a result, Touchgrass was declared the winner by default. And with that, this event report comes to an end. Overall, I am very happy with how Touchgrass did. The robot did amazingly well at its first ever competition, especially considering the fact that it was such a unique design. The robot went free and won, with its one loss being very close. Needless to say, Touchgrass absolutely exceeded my expectations, and I already have several ideas for improving the design for next time. So trust me when I say that I will be continuing to make other robots touch grass. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.